How you doing everybody? I've brought uh, Darren's dehydrated bug out vehicle out in the rain because he didn't say how much uh, water you had to uh, put on it to get the desired effect you know so I kind of thought I'd uh, stand it out in the rain for a while and uh, see what happens. So there it is mate, let's see how much water it takes. Dehydrated bug out vehicle. Just add water. Okay, YouTube, don't tell anybody, but uh, the uh, bug out vehicle 2 is in fact uh, not a dehydrated bug out vehicle. We didn't just have to add water. Uh, actually, I had to source it. I've uh, got myself busy kind of cleaning it out and modifying it and uh, a few of the jobs that I'm doing today I've uh, blacked out the uh, back windows I'm not sure that I'm going to have it as a as a van again I think I'm going to probably going to leave the seats in this one but um, was really really impressed I mean I, I've been looking for a new vehicle all day every day for a month so I've looked at thousands and uh, this truck was absolutely brilliant. I mean, it's a it's, it's an old truck, still a 17 year old truck. It's had one owner and a full service history from new. And unbelievably for a uh, Land Rover Discovery 2.5 uh, turbo diesel, it hasn't got any rust on it. And uh, you know, God smiled at me and uh, I managed to pick it up for uh, the right money. So I've been working on it today couple of jobs let's show you what I've been doing sure I'm gonna do the rear passenger ones I'm definitely gonna leave the seats in it this time although I've folded them up and um, this one has the roof rack on it which I wanted makes life a lot easier for my uh, uh, canoeing getting uh, the canoe backwards and forwards to the uh, river it's in uh, really good nick I mean I am really really pleased with it it's uh, had to be uh, dark green probably cost twice as much as the last one to be quite honest I think uh, what I'm going to end up doing you're just having one car you know the insurance company wrote off both of my cars because of the fire and um, I did everything I could to keep hold of my uh, Mondeo estate but um, they were insistent that it was a category A write-off which just means the vehicle affected by fire what they say is that um, they're not prepared to repair a vehicle that's fire affected because in three months time the seals go or the wiring starts to play up and it's constantly settling claims they, they sort of have no idea what their liability is whereas if they write it off they know exactly what the liability is and that case is uh, closed so this is a new bug out vehicle like I say blacking out the back windows and a few other little uh, jobs. There was one thing wrong with it. It had a little dent just by the uh, tail light. So I popped the tail light out and I've just managed to uh, tease the little dent out and I'll be putting the light back. But uh, I've rubbed down the uh, van vault that I'm gonna put back into it. It was, uh, as you know, quite badly affected by fire. So, uh, I've rubbed that down and that needs another coat of paint but that will be going in it. I'm just making the uh, number plates for the um, BOV2 unveiling and uh, this is kind of sign making equipment but I'll, it's quite interesting. I'll leave uh, the camera running while I make these plates and you can see how it's done. So that's the blank that I'm going to make the rear number plate out of. It's just a piece of Fomex covered with uh, some uh, reflective yellow um, vinyl. And this is the machine that's actually going to cut the lettering for me. It's called a plotter. Runs off of a uh, very basic uh, laptop and computer program. And um, I'll show you that work in a second. <coughs> okay, so that's the rear number plate that we're uh, going to make. I've designed it up on the laptop. Now what I'm going to do is cut it on the uh, plotter for you. Okay, so that's our, uh, that's our letters cut. Take it off the machine, put it on the bench and weed it out. 
Okay, so the way we uh, pick this up and put it onto the sign is with uh, stuff called application tape, and this is application tape. Very simply, signs are made um, with uh, the use of tack. So the uh, adhesive on the back of the letters is much stronger than the adhesive on the back of the paper. So I can lift this off. Once I stick the letters down onto the, uh, the background or the sign, this is just going to peel off because it's low tack. Yeah? So this is application tape. Okay, so we need to uh, clean this off, normally with a bit of white spirit or some uh, sign making uh, sort of cleansing agent, just clean it off. Even if there's a human hair underneath this sticker, you would uh, probably see it. It's, um, it's that um, important that uh, it's all clean. What I'm doing here is another little sort of sign making trick in that it's just a matter of uh, putting the um, sticker in place. I'm just doing this by eye, but um, normally you would, uh, you know, measure it out so it's millimeter perfect. Okay, so put it roughly where it's got to go. Squeegee it down. Now we take off the application tape. Remember what I said that the uh, the application tape is low tack. The vinyl, the uh, uh, adhesive on the back of the letters is high tack, which enables you to do that. And uh, not the greatest number two in the world, but uh, considering I did it by hand, I don't think that's the end of the world. Okay, so that's the plate. Uh, just put it on the truck with a couple of bits of double-sided tape just to make the film. Let's get on and make the front plate. Just having the towing hitch changed on the truck. They've got double nuts on the back of them and uh, they were super tight. I couldn't get a uh, normal socket to uh, move it in the slightest. So uh, another little job off the list. Let's show you the bottom of the truck. Okay, this uh, probably isn't going to excite everybody, but this is the underneath of the truck and uh, when I sort of say to people that uh, these Land Rovers are renowned for being uh, riddled with rust you know the underside of this is uh, clean as a whistle for a 17 year old uh, car you know it's uh, just incredible Now we've got a green bug out vehicle, I guess we have to have a green trailer. So uh, yet another little job that uh, needed doing. The other thing that I've uh, got round to is I finally sourced the towing hitch that goes on this trailer. Because it's a military trailer, they're designed to be uh, pulled along like a little train. So uh, came across that, that might come in uh, really handy at some point. But uh, that's the trailer all uh, painted up green to uh, match the new bug out vehicle another job off the list simple Just want to say a real heartfelt uh, thank you to everybody that sent me and my family comments and uh, kind words after our uh, bug out vehicle burst into flames on the doorstep. It really did uh, knock me for six for a couple of weeks. I wasn't quite sure how we were going to overcome that one and uh, get back to a position where we could actually get to the retreat if anything happened. So, um, like I say, you know, real heartfelt thank you from uh, me and the family. Um, as always YouTube, any comments, love to hear them, back soon.